Hi everyone, welcome in teaching media class. And in a whole semester, you will learn how to make media and how to use it in teaching and learning process. So we don't focus on the theory of uh, teaching media, but we focus on the product. It's not a game, it's a red Start from the teaching media benefits. We use media or we make a media in teaching and learning process is to achieve learning goals. So during teaching and learning process, we concern to produce meaningful learning. As a teacher, we have to be able to teach in different way. And by using media in teaching and learning process, it helps us as a teacher to teach in different way. And also, it helps students to have independent learning. And of course, by using media, students can have clear explanations relating to the topic or the materials discussed in a meeting. Besides, by using media, for example, Google Classroom or Google Meet, you as a teacher may give it back to the students. And of course, because we use media in teaching and learning process, it creates students' involvement. And why should we develop a media? There are three things I found as a reason why teachers should develop a media in teaching and learning process. First, as a continuity of teaching and learning process. In one class, students have different characteristics sometimes in learning something. So by using a media, it helps them to learn easily. We may concern the characteristic and create suitable media based on the characteristic. And of course, we have to concern the learning goals. The second reason is students needs during pandemic. So nowadays, students need media in teaching and learning process because they have online learning. And the third reason is as research and development. What should we do to create a media? First, you need the preparations. And you may develop it after you prepare anything. And don't forget to consider the applications of the media. If we talk about preparations and development of the media, we have some steps to produce a media. Start from the planning. You have to concern the characteristic of the students, the needs of the students, and also the goals of the learning itself. Consulting with the expert may be done as the validations of your product, of your media. Then you may revise your media based on uh, the expert advice or the expert suggestions. If you want to know that your media is valid or reliable to your students, you may do testing for your media. Then boom, your final product or your media is ready to be used in a teaching and learning process. So those steps are commonly done to make a good media in teaching and learning process. And the question is, which media do you want to make? Which media do you want to produce? If we concern on the development of the technology, we have two types, low-tech media and high-tech media. In low-tech media, you may use like LCD projector, LED smart views, or smart board. So during teaching and learning process, you present your material in an LCD projector, LED smart views, or even in smart board. However, in high tech, you may use Zoom applications, WhatsApps, Google Classroom in teaching and learning process. So you present your material by using those platforms. When you consider based on the way of teaching and learning process, we have asynchronous and synchronous media. 
So in asynchronous media, it helps students to have a teaching and learning process, not in the real times. Different with asynchronous media, in synchronous media, students and teacher have a teaching and learning process in the same time, in the real time, but they do it in online learning. So you can use Zoom or Google Classroom. Here are some teaching media platforms that you can use in teaching and learning process. You can use PowerPoint presentations. You may use Google Classroom, Zoom, or Flipbook, Screencast-O-Matic, YouTube, and other platforms. And now for your weekly exercises, please make a group consist of two persons. And here I have four scales. What you have to do is make a media for teaching and learning process. And the media is Zenra based so we focus on the genre of the text or text type. We have recount, descriptive, procedure, narrative, expositions, report, analytical expositions, descriptive, argumentative, and hortatory text type. So in each meeting, there are two groups will present their media. You have to show your media to your friends how you make it and how you use it in teaching and learning process. And of course, you will consider the skills and the genre of the text. Well, I think that's it for today. And don't forget to write down your name and also your student's number in a comment below. And maybe I'll see you next week with the first and second group in Google Meet.